Hello there! Every now and then I get a question in the comments. How does this bike perform on hills? Trying to answer this question is always subjective, so with this video I will try to reduce some of this subjectivity by sharing with you some data about this particular hill right here. But before we do that, let's quickly go over the specifications of the bike. The bike is a 29er, motor is 500 watts geared hub motor, battery is 36 volts and rider weight is 92 kilograms. And now about the terrain. It is a decent hill for an urban environment. Elevation change is 60 meters, total distance is 1.1 kilometers, which makes about 5.4% average incline. Of course, this is average values, in some parts it is steeper than average, others are less steep, which obviously affects the speed at which I am moving. But before we go into more details about average speed, let me say that I rode this hill twice. The first time I was using electric power only, I was not helping the motor at all with my legs, I was only using the twist throttle which is located on the right handbar. And the second time I was in pedal assist mode on the maximum assist level of 5. Ok, let's compare the results, shall we? Using electric power only, I took the distance in 3 minutes and 13 seconds, which translates to an average speed of 20 and a half kilometers per hour. And in pedal assist mode, I took the same distance in 2 minutes and 56 seconds, which means the average speed was 22 and a half kilometers per hour. This is not such a big difference, obviously pedaling helped increase the average speed with exactly 2 km per hour. For those of you who have not tried one of these e-bikes yet, I have to say that going uphill in pedal assist mode has absolutely nothing to do with going uphill on a regular non-electric bike. For this particular hill, for the most part, it actually felt like going on a slight descent which is a pretty interesting sensation once you first get on the EC bikes. That was basically what I wanted to share with you in this video. Check the links in the description for similar e-bike conversion kits, give it a thumbs up if you found the information useful and see you next time.